Animal lovers, grab your pencils. Best-selling author, hand lettering expert, and our resident crafting queen has released a brand new book for doodlers. Amy Latta's newest book is Doodle All the Animals. She's joining us to share more about it. Amy, no joke, just within the last few weeks, my daughter was asking, when is Amy going to have another book? And I told her I have a copy at my desk right now, and she was outraged that I hadn't brought it home yet. So tell us what we'll find in this book. Sure. So this latest one is called Doodle All the Animals. It's sort of a sequel to Doodle Everything, which I know your daughter is a huge fan. <laughs> I can't wait to see what she creates with this one, because in here, instead of a sampling of everything, we're focusing just on most people's favorite, my favorite, the animals. So you learn how to draw over 200 different animals in this book. It's actually organized by their habitats. So there's a section for pets that are in the home. There's a section for Arctic animals, jungle animals, animals in the outback. And honestly, I think Australia has a monopoly on all the coolest animals in the world. Like they're just amazing. And so you'll find the 200 animals, plus you'll find certain things from their habitats so that you can draw them all together. And that's really fun. Tell me more about the habitat because there's just like what a, a few of those in there and you pull it all together. Yes, yeah, so there it's arranged by the different habitats. So, you know, you can choose where your animals, your favorite animals live, like on the farm or in the river or the ocean. And you learn how to draw not just the animals that live there, but also certain aspects of that habitat. So like here I have on the farm and you can see you learn how to draw a barn too, as well as a silo and a little lake and that kind of thing so that you can combine everything. So at the beginning of every chapter, there's an inspiration page where a bunch of the doodles are all put together. Um, sometimes there's even families of animals that you can draw together um, instead of just drawing one animal by itself on a page. It shows you how to create a whole scene. Now, in, in addition to the step-by-step -step instructions, you also learn like little facts about the animal? Yes. So as I was researching each animal that I wanted to draw, I kept finding these really fun and interesting facts. And so I included some of the more unusual facts in the description. So you learn how to draw the animal, but you also learn something that you might not have known about it as well. I mean, you kind of talked about this, but you know, why animals? You could have done any sort of theme for this book. Why go with animals? Well, um, one thing was when we were creating Doodle Everything and we were trying to decide, my publisher and I, what to include, it got really hard because there were so many animals that I wanted to include, but we just didn't have space for. And that was when I would teach workshops and go out on the book tour to promote. People would say, oh, well, is there an axolotl in the book? Is there a kangaroo? Is there a capybara? And there wasn't because I couldn't fit it. And so we thought, you know, as a sequel, the best place to start was what people were asking for and my favorite thing to draw as well, which is the animals. So we thought, you know, why not dedicate a whole book to them and see what we can come up with? Of course, then I need to ask, where can we get the book? Is it available right now? It absolutely is. It just came out last month. And so you can find it on Amazon. You can find it in store at Barnes and Noble, Books a Million, local booksellers. And you can also find it pretty much anywhere books are sold online. Very good. Thanks, Amy. We're actually gonna talk with Amy a little more in our second half hour when um, we keep going with the day PA, right? Keep it here. <laughs>